we're ready to go. <laughs> Today, Mark and I are back at Green Lake in Seattle, Washington. That's Green Lake behind us. And it's cold. It's a cold December day. And we're going to demonstrate one more um, proof using any combination of replacement rules and truth, truth functional rules. So we have a nice little proof here to do. And uh, Mark is going to work it completely cold. I am cold. And yeah. uh, so, Mark, how I'll I'll write whatever you okay. tell me. But what would you do to solve this? Well, or to I'm, complete this proof. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the premises, looking for various patterns. I'm looking to see if there's some one of these lines fits one of the patterns. I, I'm seeing maybe a De Morgan's down here and here. I also see a distribution here. Since I don't know yet if the De Morgan's would be of use and distribution, this fits distribution just perfectly. I think I'm going to try that. So I do distribution on that. Okay. That would give me a conjunction made up of A wedge B on the left. Uh huh. And on the conjunction, so an and, and then I'd have a A wedge C. Very good. So distribution on one. On one. Good. Okay. So distribution says that from P wedge Q and R, you can infer, you can. <laughs> From, from a statement of the form P wedge Q and R, you can replace it with this, the corresponding statement P wedge Q and P wedge R, or that kind of a statement can be replaced by this kind. So we've just taken this and replaced it with this. And it looks like it's been pretty helpful because with a conjunction, I can now pull out the left side or the right side, and that might be useful. Okay. I'm looking at the A wedge C. I see that it matches up here. So I want this. I'm going to do simplification to pull out the right side okay. to get A wedge C. All right. So simplification on 5. Now simplification says that if you have a statement of the form P ampersand Q, where the ampersand is the main connective, then you can infer one conjunct or you can infer the other conjunct. But it's important to remember that ampersand has to be the main connective when you apply simplification. And the reason I did that, again, is because I saw the A wedge C matches up here. I can now do a modus ponens with lines 2 and 6. Oh. That would give me tilde E. Okay. And modus ponens is my friend. I will do it any time I can. I like okay. Modus so tilde E. Tilde E. It's a workhorse of a rule. Yes. Modus ponens. be 2 and 6. 2 and 6. So let's take a look at that. From P and P horseshoe Q, Mark inferred the Q. P, P horseshoe Q, he inferred the Q. Okay? Okay, now, I don't really see any specific pattern yet, but I do notice the E kind of matching up with here. I figure this has got to be useful. I've done used good rules, I'm doing good work, so I'm seeing how the E might hook up with that. I mean, I obviously can't use these two together right now, but I know that I can build upon this through addition to make something that's going to, after I do a De, a De Morgan's, I'll get this. This is making me think De Morgan's, and I know if I, have, if I add, say, a tilde W, I can do a De Morgan's after that and get this. So let's write it down and see what it looks like. Okay. Just for uh, humor me here and do an addition. Add a uh, tilde W. Okay. So the wedge and tilde W. So you can add anything you want anything to you a want. formula. So line. 7 is tilde E, we just repeated line 7, copy it over, put a wedge, and add anything we want here. Okay. All right, addition Eight. on 7. Okay, now maybe this will make sense. I, I had to think this through a little bit. I now know that I can do a De Morgan's on this to get something that looks like that. Just the first part Just of the this. first part here. So let's do a De Morgan's on 8. Okay. That would give me tilde, then in parentheses, E ampersand W. 9 to Morgan. Morgan's 9. Let's take a look at that. So De Morgan says, if you have a statement, tilde P wedge, tilde Q, that, that can be replaced by, or it can replace a statement of the corresponding form, tilde parenthesis P and Q. Okay. So he just replaced this with this. Very good so far. The reason I wanted to, go ahead. Yeah, well, I, I see what you've done. Yeah. You have reproduced, you've inferred the antecedent of line 3. Uh, so I'm aiming for that. Also, I can do another modus ponens on three. This would give me a Z. Right. So you've got P and P horseshoe Q. 
So you, you're going back to your old friend Modus Ponens. Let's do it. So on our line 10, let's do a Modus Ponens and get Z. Okay. I think we'll fit that one in. Okay. So Modus Ponens infers, allows him to infer Z by what lines? That would be, where are we? That would be lines 3 and 9. From 3 and 9. Okay. Oh, so then... So then actually on line 9, when I wrote De Morgan 9, I should have written De Morgan oh. 8, shouldn't well, we, I? We, we, can, we can fix that. Okay. That should have been there eight. We go. I didn't see that either. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're kind of moving ahead. Okay. So let's just review this. Mm -hmm. So from Mark derived not parenthesis E and W, and that's the, met, the same as the antecedent of 3. So from P and P horseshoe Q, he inferred the Q. Modus ponens. Yes. Very good so far. And so why? Now you're, now you're down to yeah. Z. Why? It's uh, we're just using rules. We're following uh, some rules, seeing what patterns emerge. Mm -hmm. We're still a ways away from the conclusion, but I now see that since I've got that, I'm looking to see if it will hook up with anything. And yeah. this is the only other place I see a Z. So what I can do is double negate this to get tilde tilde Z, and then I can do a disjunctive syllogism on four, what? and that's going to move me forward. Now why can't you just use this? against this and do disjunctive syllogism as it is. Well, so I'm understanding that the way disjunctive syllogism works is you have a disjunction. This might be the P, this could be the Q. I need the negation of one of the sides. Right. So tilde, the, the negation of tilde Z would be tilde, tilde yeah. Z. Yeah. That's right. So if this is P wedge Q, he needs to have the negation of P in order to bring down the Q by disjunctive syllogism. The negation of P when P is tilde Z is going to be tilde tilde Z. So he really needs tilde tilde Z. Um, I know how we can do this. Let's just bring it up like this because we only have three, three or four steps. We'll just bring it up like this. Okay. I think that'll work. Now, how about this? Oh, how about if we do... Can we finish it that way? Oh, uh, okay. Okay. You mean like this? Maybe. Come on. All right. So what Mark wants to do is apply double negation to the Z. So we're replacing Z with tilde tilde Z by double negation on 10. On 10. Okay. Double negation says that you can replace P with tilde tilde P or vice versa anywhere in a proof. Okay, so now you got not, not Z. Well, let's go make that a zero. Oh, geez. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, double negation applied to line 10 to derive 11. And the reason we did that is to do disjunctive syllogism. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll give me tilde, H, and K. All right. So that's disjunctive syllogism on 4 and 11. And let's take a look at this. Line 11 is not not Z. Line 4 is not Z wedge. So this is the negation of this. You see that? So we have P wedge Q. We have the, neg the negation of the P. This is the negation of the P. So Mark inferred the Q part. And I'm getting pretty darn excited, I've got to say so, because Are I've got you? H's and K's, i got a tilde, uh -huh. I'm just looking for H's and K's, uh -huh. tildes are there, so we know we're close. Mm -hmm. In fact, I see my very favorite rule of all time, De Morgan's. If I do a De Morgan's on this, I'll get exactly the conclusion, ah. and we'll be done. So let's do the De Morgan's, okay. which would give me tilde H, uh -huh. or tilde K. That would be De Morgan's 12. So applying De Morgan to 12, we turn not P and Q into, or we replace it with more accurately, we replace not P, not P and Q with not P wedge not Q according to De Morgan. And that matches our conclusion, so our proof is complete. Happy day. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.